In today's Whiteboard Leadership Moment, I want to talk to you about the power of questions. Uh, this became very clear to me uh, when I was a young youth pastor taking over a church that had been existing for a while, and I was trying to figure out the, the leadership of the church and the small group systems. And I remember one day I, I took the passage of the paralytic and I, I, I was asking questions about the, that to the, to the small group leaders, trying to train them that questions were, were powerful. And we spent about a half hour walking through the passage and I was asking question after question after question. And when I got done, we had put on the whiteboard uh, the, the five things that we thought the passage was teaching us about God, about our circumstances, about each other, and about the importance of being on a team that, that actually accomplishes things. And when I got done, I said, now I need to ask you a question. Uh, how many statements did I ask during that entire time we had, uh, how many statements did I make during that entire time we were talking? And, the, and everyone in the room said, well, you didn't actually make any statements. You just asked questions the entire time. We talked about the Socratic method and how important it is to learn to ask good questions, that questions can lead you to the right answers. And, and I said, do me a favor. And there was a guy named Dugan Fennell in the group. I said, Dugan, my backpack's over there. Once you go to my backpack, unzip it, and there's an envelope in there. And I'd like you to read what's in the envelope. And he opened the envelope, and the five things we written on the board were the five things that were in the envelope. It was exactly what we had said. There is a power uh, to, to questions. And here's some of the things that, that questions help us do. First of all, questions show our concern and our care. What happens when you're asking a question is it's not about me, it's about you, and you become others focused. And when you're asking questions rather than making statements, statements are about me, questions are about you, and it really shows concern and care about the other person. That's an important part of questions. Questions draw out deeper discussion. When you ask the right questions, it could draw people to think more deeply or to go way beyond the facts to the feelings, way beyond the present situation to everything surrounding it. It helps them discover answers and realize things about, about themselves. Questions gain clarity. They gain clarity. When you ask the right questions, you're helping the other person gain clarity about their present circumstances, defining their reality and dream their future, designing the path in between. You're helping them figure out exactly where they are and exactly the situation in which uh, they're existing. It promotes self-discovery. Uh, questions really help you learn about yourself and, and learn to grow. I found in my own life that I'm not really good at asking questions. In fact, I make a lot of statements, which means I'm, I'm somewhat self-focused rather than others-focused. And it's a discovery for me that I need to become better at asking more questions and talking less about me. Number five, it allows us to diagnose before we prescribe. It, it diagnoses before we prescribe. And just like with a doctor, you don't want them to just say, well, just take these pills without, without asking any questions. That would be crazy. You want them to understand the scenario that you're in, and then you want them to prescribe once they, you feel like they really understand my scenario. Same thing in coaching, same thing in discipleship, same thing in, in the relationships and things like that. You, you don't want to die, you don't want to pre uh, prescribe before you have diagnosed exactly what's going on. And finally, the thing about questions is questions make you wait. W-A-I-T. They make you ask the question, why am I talking? If I'm only talking to get my viewpoint across, that's not healthy. If, but if I'm talking to help them self-discover, help them uh, experience concern and care, help them to grow, help them to move forward, help them to gain clarity, that's a great thing. So I encourage all of us to work hard on becoming better at asking the right questions. This has been a Converge Whiteboard Leadership Moment. To learn more about Converge or to join us, check out converge.org.